He was a Canadian music legend whose gravelly vocals really gave us a voice. I mean, how could you listen to his music without tapping your toes? He was always clever, Stompin' Tom Connors. He used his unique sound to capture the spirit of Canada's diverse regions. And tonight, people from coast to coast to coast will gather in Peterborough, Ontario, to remember the 77-year-old who died a week ago. And many people are remembering his musical legacy. Others are remembering his friendship. We've heard some great stories about that. My next guest was a close friend to the singer and is speaking tonight, in fact, at that memorial I mentioned. The Right Honourable Adrian Clarkson, 26th Governor General of Canada, is right here in studio. Welcome to you, Madam Clarkson. Nice to see you, Sienna. You nice know, to be in a television studio. Again, do you remember this feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, you have always been a great supporter of the arts. You've met so many interesting Canadians and others in you know, your days as a journalist, as Governor General. Stop and Tom, what stands out for in your mind about him? Well, I loved him from the beginning because I used to meet him in the makeup rooms here at the CBC with Lena, his gorgeous wife, and uh, everybody loved him. And I loved him because I loved those songs. I mean, I think Bud the Spud is one of the great Me Canadians. Me too. I love Bud Rolling the Spud. Rolling down the highway, smiling. smiling. Yeah. <laughs> and always loved his songs because they had no adverbs in them. Like right. he didn't say, I'm happy. I'm happy, happily, happily doing something. Right. I am doing something. All right. Yes. And he was great to talk to. And I always felt very sort of encircled by Stomp and Tom. We came out of such different backgrounds, you know, I only arrived in this country when I was three and he yep. obviously was somebody who had been here for many, many generations and was part of a, of a life on the East Coast that I didn't even know when I first started working here at the CBC. But he made me feel like I belonged to this country because he, I think, felt that Canada belonged to everybody who was here. Mm -hmm. He loved Canada, but that didn't make him exclusive about Canada, it made him inclusive. And I always felt that we were buddies. And so when I was at Rideau Hall, I had him several times to honor him. You know, he got the Governor General's Performing Arts Award, Lifetime yes. Achievement Award while I was there. He was invited for the lunch for 50 uh, to celebrate the Queen's Golden Jubilee, and he wore his hat all the way through did it. Did he really? Oh, he did. <laughs> and he was always allowed to smoke at Rideau Hall, the only was person. Was he the only person who the actually only person, let do that? The yeah. only person who was allowed to smoke. And he was just a terrific person, always. And you had the feeling that he had a, a fellow feeling for everybody, that he didn't feel, gee, I've lived this way and you haven't, therefore mm -hmm. you don't understand me. He felt that everybody could understand him and in some way, we felt he understood us. That's the beauty of Stomp and Tom Connors. You know, he stomped right through a stage many times. Did he ever do that at Rideau Hall? No, he Just didn't. imagine the marks left no, on the He hardwood. didn't, but yesterday at the family funeral, which was a lovely event, uh, they had the board there, and there was this big hole in it, which, um, you know, dent in it, which yep. is where he would stomp. And I think he was very, very instinctual about what he knew Canadians could connect with, not only his lyrics, but also what he was doing, what he, what he stood for, mm -hmm. how we could understand that this little abandoned child, you know, grew up with no home, with no love, right. could represent for us everything that is our home. You know, I love the way you put that. And when I went to, I was in PEI, I've been there many times, and went to Skinner's Pond once yeah. and saw the, the shack, oh. if you will, and just took a moment uh, singing Bud the Spud, because that's my favorite as well, and thinking about, you know, Stomp and Tom. And I'd, I know I'm going to go back there at some point, and those memories will hit me again. But was he the kind of guy that... Um, you you wanted to to you know bow uh, at the cottage of Stomp and Tom, but you also wanted to hug him. Was he a touchable kind of guy, an approachable guy, not like a star in the true sense? Oh, he sense. wasn't a star in that sense at all. I mean, he just you know he really was an egalitarian. That that's what really made him a Canadian was that he believed that we were all equal. Every one of us is equal. We could look straight into each other's eyes mm -hmm. and see each other for what we are. And that's the honesty, that's the truth of his relationship to us. And so you just felt connected to him. You didn't have to hug him mm -hmm. or do anything like that, although we always hugged. But I feel that if anybody had met him, he would be just as direct, just as warm in, in that way that, that anybody, the, the best that anybody could be. 
Was he an off-the-cuff kind of guy? Like, would he just, if, was he a spur-of-the-moment kind of guy? I think he was. I think he rolled with the punches. I think he understood why he was around. I think he understood that he had a kind of mission. I don't think you could carry on the way he did and write the number of songs he did. And I think there's enough songs to keep going for another 10 albums, mm -hmm. I was told yesterday. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think that he has, you know, he just knew what he was doing. He knew what he was put on earth to do. And I think that's the, that's the way he was. This um, uh, memorial in Peterborough, there are going to be so many people who show up there who've listened to his music, who've stomped uh, along with him. What's going to be your message? Because you're well, speaking. Yeah, my message has been what I've been saying to you, that he belonged to all of us, and that he did that just by being himself. He didn't set out with an agenda. I'm going to mm -hmm. conquer, you know, Canada, and I'm going to be this best-selling singer. He connected with us because he was himself, and because we recognized that he was himself. We loved him. Did you ever hear him play the guitar? I mean, like, for you personally? Not personally. No. You know, I should have asked you for that. Should've. I you should have. You should have. I should have. I, Darn. You know, I should have said the price of smoking here is you play the guitar <laughs> for me personally. <laughs> Always a pleasure to talk to you, Lovely uh, to see Madam you, Clarkson. Sienna. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Former Governor General Adrian Clarkson remembering music icon Stompin' Tom Connors. Hello out there. We're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps, the players bump, the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game.